There's noise seems to be coming from over there. There's a lot of noise coming from over there. Well, can you tell me about what's happening there? Yep, yeah, sir. As we had the world's first robots for the TVs, we've now got the world's first X-ray separation. So plastic... First X-ray separator? What does that mean? Yeah, so X-ray uh, is the big machine up here. This allows us to fire an X-ray at a piece of plastic, and with the bounce back, we can determine whether the plastic's got a hazard in it, brewing. And with air separation, we can then separate the good and the bad plastic. The rest of the world uses water, density separation. But sounds very water. messy. Yeah, very messy. Water's not good. You end up with contaminated water, very messy, but very analog, not very digital. Here we have a digital process, very precise. So is this unique in the UK? Not just in the UK, but actually in the world. We're the only company in the world to have a dedicated TV facility with robots, X-ray for the plastic all under one roof. Right, can you just show us briefly how it works? The TV plastic is great. We've got the old CRT television plastic, different type of polymer. And we've got flat panel plastic. So we go through onto the conveyor and we spread that down to a uniform size up the conveyor, thread it down, and then out comes the shredded material then uh, at the back of the line. We have uh, a magnet, remove any screws and brackets, any hinges and brackets that are covered from the plastic. Up the conveyor, the shaker table spreads out, the shredded worm, and then we go into the x-ray separation. Everything's monitored from France, from the manufacturer, so they're online, they can check our data, make sure the machine's optimised, and then we also test the output then as well. And can you show me the bits that come out from this at the end? Does this now end up in landfill? No, no landfill. So this now goes off to be made into a pellet and a new plastic product. It could be uh, automotive, car parts, it could be consumer electronics, same grade of plastic. Fantastic. And over the road there, you've got storage uh, in the other yard. Is that right? Yep, so everything comes in at the top of the unit. We go through the process, then we have the raw material then coming out. It's not what you imagine a recycling business. To look like. The ones I've seen are messy and... Yeah, and on the ground, yeah. old Victorian buildings, brand new purpose-built site. Lots of roller shutter doors for easy access. The way bridge to weigh everything in and out. Is this the future of recycling? It should be. It's not, unfortunately. Well, for us it is, but the rest of the industry needs to catch up. Great. So not just having the site, but also the certification and the certificates as well. So all the certifications we're doing on the site as well, not just the process. Brilliant. And what, we, what have we got in here? So it seems like a massive amount of stuff. Is this all just bags of rubbish or no, is there value no, in this? No rubbish on site. Everything is value. So we have uh, the green X is a, the good plastic. That's all waiting to go out now. We've had that graded and tested with a couple of different companies now. So start. where will that end up in? in, the, in, in on, a, on a bumper on a car or what, what type of products does it end up in? Yeah, television plastic's mainly ABS uh, type of plastic and that could be a button in a car, a switch. It could be a clam case on a cosmetic product. Uh, everywhere, ABS is very sort of strong plastic. There's lots of applications for the plastic. So all this, is this, is this two mo a month's worth of work, a week's worth of work? Yeah, we've roughly about a month's worth here, so we've got quite a bit of stock at the moment as we're testing material and markets. Once the markets are established, because our process, as you've just uh, described, is very new, so we have to educate the industry and the market as well that our plastic's different from others, it's very clean. So we've got quite a bit of stock at the moment, but then rotation, literally an articulated truck, 26 pallets, it'll be out every day then. And what's your, last last question, really, I, would, I could spend forever <laughs> asking you questions about all the stuff, but your vision for the future of this business is what? Yeah, we've got a massive focus on TVs to be number one, the gold standard of TV recycling. And then once we've done that, we can then start to look at other products, washing machines, maybe fridges, kettles, toasters, everything else with a plug and a battery on it.